All right, Shalom. First and foremost, all praises and glories unto Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Harkhakwadash. They belong to our apostles and elder bishops of the great millstone who teach God and rule well. And greetings, salutations, blessings, and much love unto you. Hopefully, I like up there. Shalom unto you. Your brother Shaquat here from the Las Vegas church with uh, just basically my two cents on uh, on this brother's video, the up and coming elder uh, Karat Zav, ahead of our camp here in Vegas. All right, so. Um, just wanted to um, throw a couple more scriptures on top of it, but and just just kind of mention, you know, some some other angles that that the brother because um, there's so many wrong angles about this uh, about the statement that the guy's making. So let me let me play that statement first, and then I got this over here in Job chapter nine verse twenty four. The earth is given into the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges thereof, if not wherein, who is he? Which is just to, to, to question if it's not a big deal, because you Christians always try to make it, as, oh, it's not a big deal what he looked like. If it wasn't a big deal, why did this, this, this Edomite do that? Why did he put the, the, the image of Cesare Borgia uh, to look like uh, you know his people? Why did he put that up as a face of our Lord? Okay, why won't they just leave it as a, as, a, as the scripture de depicts it? Because there is power in it, and it does mean something. And this further proves that it does mean something. Okay, and I only have a few scriptures, and it's like I said, it's just two cents. I'm, I'm gonna I'm leave a link to this video in the description. I should, I hope I posted it because it's an excellent video, excellent watch. And as the brother said, this is milk stuff. Jake should be way past this. Okay. But I'm gonna play the video. This is the video there. Let me play it though. As true as it is that Jesus is not white. Uh oh, y'all ready for me? I need you to understand Jesus is not black. Uh oh, y'all don't like this. Uh, y'all don't like this. Y'all don't like this. Come on for all my Afrocentric Rastafarian. That picture that your grandma got on the wall with Jesus with the dreadlocks, that's just as inaccurate as a blonde-haired, blue-eyed G. Y'all real quiet. See, this is our problem. We feel like we have the right to claim rights to Jesus and make him who we are. You have no more right to claim him as African-American as white people have the right to claim him as white. He's from the Middle East. You know that guy in the gas station you don't like? Jesus. Stop it. <laughs> and when I say stop it, this nigga needs to stop it. You know? This is, you, you jakes are going too far now. Okay? Just going too far. Like I said, I'm going to keep it nice and simple. If there was no power in changing the image and, 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 and what he looks like, because he doesn't know world history... And and, 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 and and this is secular history. I mean, you can go into secular history and find out that the people were moved around and shifted. You can find this stuff out all over the earth. But who else has put the image of the Lord to look like themselves? Okay? And how do we know? Because look, when you look at the image of Jesus, which is, is, is really the Messiah, and that's a Greek word in the name in the Hebrew as it should be spoken or it should be pronounced. Okay? Is Yahweh Shai. Alright, when you look at it in that in that uh, regard, of course you're gonna see his image up there. That so called white man's image. Okay? But well, how come we can't how come we can never have nothing for ourselves? We just we didn't invent nothing. We, we didn't make up nothing. We don't control nothing. We don't have nothing that belongs to us. Okay? I'm going to hit this one. And then I'm going to uh, maybe get one or so more. This is um, in the book of the Maccabees. Uh, first Maccabees, I think it is. 348. It says, And laid open the book of the law, which was the original Bible before the Second, uh, the New Testament was involved when it was written. Okay, they still had that then, in the time of the Maccabees, the times that the Greeks ruled. Okay, wherein the heathen, which these Edomites are heathen, had sought to paint the likeness of their images. 
okay, when this was written in here, all right? And then like like the brother said, um, Serapis Christus, the apostle said it recently also, Serapis Christus, they won't go into that. They won't go into these other depictions of this same entity that they've made to look white. Now, the, the, the true image, hold on. The true image, the true man, not just an image, but the true uh, person that walked the earth that was the son of God, he's written about in the scriptures and he's written what he looks like. The brother eloquently goes over that in his video. Okay, so that shouldn't be any more up for debate. All right, but, and, and the depiction of what the people look like shouldn't be up for debate anymore. But they're so out there talking about you wacky tacky Christians so so far out there trying to make it about what deep revelation and who ain't this and who ain't that and he ain't white but he ain't black but the guy at the, at the gas station is is Jesus stop it that's the that's what the messiah looks stop if you knew if you knew how the, when the bible lays it out it's crazy you guys claim to know the bible but don't really know the bible okay you you claim to be teachers of the bible but you don't know the bible the, it tells you how every race of people broke down Okay, from the first so-called white man and who he was back when, when the first one was 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 was, was, uh, was made and then when the first one was actually born, everything is in the Bible. Okay, laying out all the people, but, but we can't have a claim to anybody though. But those people don't believe in Christianity uh, for the most part. They believe in, 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 uh, in, uh, in, in Islam for the most part. Some of them Buddhism and whatever else. Okay, but but they but they don't gravitate to Christianity like we do though. Okay, but we're not the people. All right. It's 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 crazy how this works. One more script and then uh, I'm gonna close out because I gotta go. And this don't like the brother said, man. This don't take a lot of deep understanding. Like he would, I was. He read it at the end of the video, John 1 and 1. He just depicted what he saw in the vision. The things that he heard and that he saw. And when he saw the image of the Lord, that's what he saw. It's not like it was a deep, oh, it was a metaphor. No, man, it was just straightforward and plain. Let me get this. Romans 10 and, and, and 2. For I bear the record that they have a zeal of the Most High, but not according to knowledge. Okay, for they being ignorant of the Most High's righteousness, the ways of the Most High, the looks of the Lord, things are like that, basic things that you can figure out, they overpass those basic things to go into to, to having some deep breakdown of revelation. And going about to establish their own righteousness have not submitted themselves unto the righteousness of the Most High. Okay, through His only begotten Son. Okay. Another one real quick, and this is the one I'm going to end on, John, book of John, chapter 4, 22, ye worship, you know not what, these, a lot of these Christians don't know what the hell they're worshiping, and then and like, and like the next thing when you break down, oh he was olive complected, and all they got all these other excuses, why can't he just be the dark skinned man that he is, with a white woolly afro, how come that just can't be it, that's what the scriptures say, how come that just can't be that? How come it can't be that plain? Oh, because it fits us? Well, it's supposed to fit us. Okay, it says, um, we know what we worship for salvation is of the Jews, right? the Israelites. It says, but the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father seeketh such to worship him. And when you worship the Father, in spirit and in truth you're going to worship everything that he put down in the earth to happen in spirit and in truth whether it be the prophecies those he loved those he hate what his son looked like and what he came to do and what and what he does and when he'll be back in prophecy okay and all the other things that fall in under prophecy okay but these are the things that they don't touch on they can oh i can tell you this but I, but it, but not that but i don't know a prophecy but i can tell you this I can tell you what he don't look like. All right, so I will go one more, and this is Revelation. Oops, lock it. Revelation chapter 19, verse 10. 
And then with this it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou, do it not. I am a fellow servant, and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the, the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So you don't have the testimony of him if you don't have the spirit of prophecy. So how am I going to trust that you got the right breakdown on what he did or didn't look like? Okay? So why would I trust you? But these Christians, they want every reason to not for it not to be us. Showing you how powerful that image that these heathen put in, put up there, that the Cesare Borgia, Jesus white image or whatever, the other white meat they, you know, they put that up and it, and it truly worked on our people. It truly has worked on our people to a point that you don't want it to be you. Every other God, every other uh, nation has their own gods, but, but us. We got to have somebody else's God. Unbelievable, man. So I'm going to close out. Lord, when is that a fine to the next one? Shalom.